Today, I'm at Clyde Flynn's after lunch with Jeff. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. What do we have over there? We have a reticulated python. Uh, the reticulated pythons are actually probably the largest or longest of the snakes. They compete with the anacondas as overall the largest. So we say that the reticulated pythons are probably the longest, but the anacondas are the heaviest because they get much more girth to them. Where can you find these really big snakes? Well, the reticulated pythons are from Southeast Asia. Um, and they're found in usually pretty wet environments, very humid environments. There are areas, uh, small areas where they're actually found in caves. Um, and they are constrictors. Uh, they are considered a large constrictor, uh, which means they squeeze and suffocate uh, and maybe cause heart failure in their prey animals and then, of course, swallow them. What kind of prey um, would the snakes go after? Well, uh, anything warm-blooded. Um, anything from small birds when they're young to larger mammals when they get big. Um, and if they're found in caves with bats, that would be also fair game. So, uh, just about anything, really. I mean, they have a they set of very long things. teeth, so they can... Those teeth can penetrate bird feathers so they can catch your birds and constrict them when you come. So, uh, so kind of like if they can catch it, it's theirs. Yeah, it's they're, they're probably largely ambush predators where they'll lay still and when something wanders too close, they'll strike out and grab it and constrict it. How large can the snakes get if they're um, totally the longest week? How long would that be? Well, this particular one is about 18 feet, um, but they can get up into the 20s. Uh, in zoological institutions, some of the larger ones have reached lengths of 24, 25 feet. Um, it's thought that they can reach about 30 feet, but uh, to find one actually that one would be pretty rare. So it is indeed a very large snake. Very large. A force to be reckoned with. Yes, very strong, um, and they can be aggressive. This individual isn't very aggressive uh, until feeding time. Well, we've got Vlad, but that time is not now. Yeah. We'd be in trouble. How do these snakes get their name? Uh, they say the reticulating pattern uh, of them gave them the name, so uh, I'll go with that. It's a very beautiful pattern. Yes, they are very pretty snakes. They have an iridescence to them. And believe it or not, that, that blends them in in the wild. Well, thank you so much for watching this week's episode. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel.